Hey everybody, Heather from Hooked on Pickin' here. I have a VIA trading box, V-I-A trading, um, and it's NYX makeup, and I'm gonna unbox it and show you what I got in it. Okay, this is my VIA trading box. I'm gonna give you the specs. This is NYX assorted liquidation case, um, and it has 250 items in it. Um, it cost me $287.50, and then um, the shipping and handling, they charge $26.31, and then they do a credit card 3% fee, which is $9.41. So my total for this whole box is $323.22, which averages out to be $1.30 per item. So 250 items in here. Let's see what we get. I'm gonna get this opened so that I can kind of, I have had really, really good luck selling NYX makeup online. I think I sold out of my last 250 items very quickly. And, um, and so I'm really excited to get another box and see how well I do. Oh, this is a lot of the same stuff I saw before. The nice thing is it's brand new condition and it's in pristine condition. I love getting the stuff from Via Trading. So I'm just gonna start pulling some stuff out. Let me move this box over here so I have room to display everything for you. So I've got some NYX Love in Paris. I remember selling those before. So eyeshadows, here's some Sunkissed NYX. I'm gonna stack them since they're all the same because I'm gonna run out of room real fast. These are powder foundations. Any of the bronzers or foundations, I have sold really well. These are, um, let's see what color these are. Um, it is, I'd have to, golden. These are golden. A lot of these um, eyeshadows sell really well. These are NYX Baked Shadow. Um, also, I keep saying NYX because that's what it says on the uh, package, but they're actually called NYX, NYX Perfume. So um, I was corrected by another viewer. Thank you so much for correcting me, and I'm going to try to refer to them as NYX. It's not a brand that I wear, and so um, here's some blushes, different, various different colors, and so I wasn't familiar on how to pronounce it. The nice thing about these is sometimes they'll sell individually, um, and then sometimes they'll sell as a three pack. So if they do sell as a three pack, they're already uh, packaged up that way. There's some more. I'm gonna stack some of these, but they're various different colors. This is actually a um, more of a bronzer color and those sell for a little bit more, but I usually make about anywhere from five to $15 a piece on the items that I get um, to sell. These are um, lipsticks. These are all the same color in each box, individual box. So um, you can just tell uh, that they're different by the different barcodes. So this one, these are all different colors. Um, these I think are the same color. And then let's see, we've got some, these are all uh, lipsticks, shadow sticks. So they're basically eyeshadow sticks and you can see the various different colors I got going on there. I'm gonna just lay all those out so you can see them really well. Lots of shadows. The thing I like about doing the makeup kits is that, um, here's some more lipstick, is that you can do multiples. So I, you know, it looks like a lot of stuff and a lot of work, but once you have it all organized and you know which colors go where, you can just list them very quickly. And most of this, if not all of it, will go to the warehouse because generally makeup is not hazmatted. What is this? This is a waterproof concealer. That looks a little different. I got a couple of those. I've never sold those yet, so I'm excited about those. The lipsticks are usually my lowest end profit maker on any kind of makeup that I sell. I've sold various different kinds of makeup. Some of you might be saying, how in the world can you sell makeup? I was ungated early on in the process of um, selling makeup, but you know, um, it works for me. I'm able to make a good profit off of it. My lipsticks, like I was saying, is the lowest seller that I have, but I still usually make two to three dollars a piece on each lipstick that I sell, which is still amazing considering I'm only paying a dollar thirty for a lot of it. Here's a Love in Rio. I sold those last time. The hardest part about selling makeup for me is not wanting to keep it all. So, um, that would definitely be my hardest. 
uh, thing that I have to do. So here's some more lipsticks. As you can see, I've got a lot of them. Some more waterproof concealer. All right, these little boxes are all lipsticks. So I'm just gonna line them up here by the lipstick. Um, they're various different colors. I've got some reds and browns and purples and things like that. Here's some more eyeshadows. I love that these are packaged so nicely. Let's see what's in these big boxes. More blushes. So I'm gonna leave these longer boxes here. And um, they're all different, various different colors. Like these are pinks. Um, these are gonna be a different color even than the pinks. Yeah, they're more of a, a darker kind of peachy. So they're gonna be various different colors. Um, but the nice thing is, is I'm gonna have multiples of each. So I'll be able to list them extremely fast. The longest process, to be honest, in listing all of this makeup is putting the labels on, the individual labels, um, because everything usually needs its individual barcode um, and making sure that they're secured properly, more lipstick, so that they don't fall off. Um, because these little, these things here, if you try to put a barcode on there and wrap it around, you have to have the barcode flat so that you can scan it, which works great but sometimes those edges want to curl up and so it does take some time to put a little extra packing tape on there to make sure your Amazon barcode label does not come apart. Here's some more of these um, baked shadows that I've got down here. So I'm going to get all the boxes that are that size. Those are all my baked shadows. So lots and lots of those. We got another size box here. So as you can see, I'm getting various different colors. I'll go through and try to give you some numbers on how much I think I can make. Here's some Love and Rio, some more of that. So we're gonna stick that there. Some more where that came from. Let's see, these are different shapes of boxes. Almost to the end. If you look at my box over here, I'm almost empty. So I'm going through it a little bit quick but I want you to know kind of what's all in here. I've sold some of these. These are uh, NYX all over balm, so it's kind of like a lip balm. Three in each one of these boxes here. And those I know I can sell. The nice thing is I'm seeing a lot of familiar stuff, which I know I can sell. I know I'm not restricted. There were a few pieces that I didn't sell just because there was no listing made for them. And so, um, you know, but for the majority of items, I was able to sell. Here's some more of the Sun Kissed in this box here. It's nice that they leave a lot of this stuff packaged well so it does not get damaged in shipping. So that is really, really nice. They pack their boxes very well. Here's another powder foundation. These are always good, good money for me. Anytime I can sell those powder foundations, here's another box of it, probably just a little bit of a different color. My last box in here, let's see what's in this one. They're hard to get open without ripping them. There we go. Okay, this is uh, NYX Love in Paris. So just like these first things that I pulled out. So as you can see, a bucket load of makeup, all brand new condition, pristine condition. I for sure should be able to make some money. I think the last um, NYX box that I bought for makeup, I made around two or $300. I'm hoping that's gonna be the same. I can um, give you some detailed numbers uh, after I get a lot of it listed and organized and uh, hope this has been helpful. And if you have any questions, let me know, all right? And remember in the end, Jesus wins. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. If you'd like to watch more of my videos, just click on them here. And if you'd like to learn more about the reseller world, subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Thanks.